are the best analogies used to help yourself remember the difference between a gene and DNA is this. DNA has always been likened to being one big recipe book. And the recipe book has a whole bunch of different recipes for different types of dishes and foods that people like. So DNA is like the cookbook. The recipes in the DNA are the genes. Ultimately, your DNA is used to make proteins. The genes are the instructions for making the protein. So if you take a look in the upper right hand corner here, you'll notice that I have a section of DNA boxed off because a gene is a section of DNA. So this particular section would be the recipe for a particular type of protein. Now proteins are important because they do a lot of things for your body, such as hemoglobin is a protein that's used to carry oxygen in our blood cells. Melanin is a protein that's used to give you skin color, hair color, and eye color. Our genes, these sections of DNA here, are what makes the proteins what they are. These genes are the recipes inside of the cookbook. So this particular section of DNA would be the gene for one protein, and then another section of DNA would be recipe for other proteins that the body needs to make. Now, as you can see here, if you follow along this whole DNA strand, this DNA strand will then start to wrap itself around proteins at the bottom. And the reason why it does that is because when the DNA wraps itself around the proteins, it causes the DNA to condense, and then we can hold the DNA in structures called chromosomes. And the chromosomes are the actual structures inside of the nucleus that contain the DNA, and thus containing all the genes that you have in your body.